Everybody meet Rich. Howdy, howdy there. <laughs> he just bought a beautiful 2013 Town & Country van. You're gonna use that for your artwork and for your lifestyle, right? You, he's from Maine, but he travels all over the nation um, selling his art, making his art. Tell people a little bit about what you do art-wise, Rich. Well, when I saw this car, I just knew I could hook a plow on it and plow the cornfields. <laughs> like Chrysler, like a hundred years ago. <laughs> and Chrysler is named after Christ, as you know, right? right. <laughs> Tell people what you do. I'm a wood carver on the coast of Maine. Go ahead, yeah. go ahead. And, uh... Hey, Richard. A, yeah. Since you don't... All right, Rich. Tell tell people a little bit about this woodwork that you do. You do. Yeah. Well, you know, I grew up on a farm in the backwoods of Maine, uh, home, uh, central Maine, north central Maine, and we're very poor, dirt poor. Seven kids on the farm, and we had no uh, money. You know, we were roughed it. We lived off the land, and I can remember picking up milk bottles for a nickel each. And uh, once every two months, the oil man would come with a big truck, and I would just beg him to take me to the grocery store with about 75 milk bottles <laughs> and get a nickel each to buy a little toy. It happened once and he would never have anything to do with me again. But nevertheless, uh, I end up making my own toys like this little bird here, you know. I just find it in the woods, on the ground. God gives it to me. It amuses me. I drove all the way down to Maine uh, with this, looking at this. It's very nice, you know. Looks like a bird. And I didn't do anything to it. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, I made my own toys, and then uh, I've done a lot of things, and uh, military, etc. But I came back to the woodlot for the piece. Yes, sir, buddy. Pretty amazing. You should see this artwork, y'all. It's um, it, it really speaks to me. I love it. And I'm hoping to get a piece uh, for the beach house, so um, you can see it firsthand. But um, this this fellow Rich is uh, you can just see his soul in, in the artwork, and I think you're going to really enjoy. Um, any other stories you have for that you feel like somebody might really, if you were to share a story about maybe a time you were getting the wood that that people need to hear about? Well, you know, uh, <clears throat> well, you know, I. Uh, <clears throat> I go up to Moosehead Lake, and uh, they call it Moosehead Lake because from the uh, where the angels live and look, it looks like a head of a moose, this lake, and it's just loaded with moose, Moosehead Lake, Maine. And um, I go up there in the swamps up to my neck and with a rope and an axe, and I throw my tomahawk with a rope and I stick it and I pull it towards me, and I pull it up to the road and load it on the uh, trail all by myself camp out, sleep in my truck, etc. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of work. And then I, uh, a little change, so I, in my mind, it's all created the horse, and I just put together pieces, you know, and uh, it comes out with a horse. And, uh, you know, most people look at wood as incidental, they burn it, you know, it's disrespectful. <laughs> We've been doing it a long time. They could to keep you warm, but nevertheless, I can remember I used to burn wood and I'd take a piece of wood, I, I'd throw, get ready to throw it in the fire. It's about six below up in Maine. And I said, oh, oh my God, I see, I see a wood chuck. I see a wood chuck here. I can't burn it. I gotta put it aside. Then I grab another piece of wood, you know, I said, oh my God, that's a, that is a hawk's tail. Oh my God, I can't burn that. I gotta get back to that project. I put it aside. Before you know it, I'm freezing. It's like four below. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So you see animals in the wood, and then yeah. you share it with others. You, uh, yeah. it's become a living for you. You sell it all over the the United States. Yes, yes, yeah. in California for years. Yeah, I met wonderful people like Clint Eastwood. I can prove that. The pictures of us. Yeah, he's just a wonderful man, and. Um, you know, they had the big redwood trees up there 20 years ago, and. Uh, one kid was camping out in uh, Georgia Pacific. They cut the tree down, and people were just appalled. And the kid was killed. They didn't know he was in it up in there living because he had such a passion for the redwood trees. The redwood trees, uh, some are 20 feet wide. So Clint uh, said, that's a hell of a story. He told uh, a lawyer. 
a mutual friend and a teacher, I know the teacher, a physicist named Bill Wattenberg. And Clint said, okay, I'll give you a trust fund for a million dollars to work this out. We'll start to save these trees. You must promise me that you never tell anybody who gave it to you. Clint Eastwood. And that's the type of guy he is. And uh, the Bible says, uh, the more you give, the more you receive. And this guy is probably worth, he's probably worth a billion dollars. Wow. Like the land he has, farms, he bought all this stuff, property in the 80s, I was there. I go to this little restaurant and chat with him, you know, and he's always a wonderful guy. And self-made man. You want an American individual who's a conservative who loves his country. It's Clint Eastwood. He went to high school in Oakland. He didn't have anything. Hmm. Yeah, he's a great man. Who we don't. He doesn't get the recognition that he deserves. That's right. He was even in the army. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, we appreciate you All coming right. to Tidelands and finding a vehicle that works for you. Um, how would you rate this experience as far as um, buying a vehicle compared to other other dealerships you've purchased over the years. Yes. Well, you know, um, I've had this Volvo since 1831, but I don't buy many new cars. We're <laughs> 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 sitting in it now having a party. <laughs> That's right. Uh, 1990 Volvo. Yeah, 240. Are you kidding me? They sold out, out from under. It sounds like it. Sounds like it. I was going to get it, but it sounds like they... Uh, they oh, sold it to somebody else. Well, it's a um, terrible thing. So rate this experience compared to other yeah, places. Yeah, okay. This is a, a, a ten and a half. Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Yeah. yeah. On a scale, um, one to five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> You're awful, Rich. And yeah, no, I'm just kidding. now I'm going to ask you if, uh, another question. One you may not know. Did you look at my card? Did you see my card? Do you know what my tagline is? Yeah. What does it say? Do you save or take. Hey, that's that's worth at least save a dollar. You get a, yeah, that's great. I'll buy you a coffee for that. <laughs> hey, thanks y'all for watching. Uh, the, what an interesting fella Rich is, and uh, I think we're going to be great friends. And uh, my goal is to make a friend for life, and I really feel like I have. So thank you, thank thank you so you much, Dave. Rich. Thank you, Dave. thank you for your artwork, and God bless you. Thank you. You too, Dave.